Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom, and on this channel, we talk about autism and everything in between. Let's take a look at today's fair use reaction video of this brave nine year old girl who rescued her baby sibling. Take a look at the video. And she did whatever it took to save herself and her baby brother, King. I know we're 7 Eleven at because that's the way we go to my granny's house. This is Nyla Prentice. The nine-year-old and her baby brother were in the back seat of their mom's car Monday night when their mom ran into this 7-Eleven on Cheyenne and Decatur to use the ATM and the unthinkable happened. This boy was looking at her at a strange way and then he and then he ran he ran outside and he tried to open my mom's door and then my mom came outside and she was like, What are you doing next to my car? And then when she came next to the car, it unlocks. So her car unlocked and then he got in the car and he, he zoomed. And I didn't want to put my hands on him because he was driving fast and I didn't want to die. Nyla says she wasn't sure where he was driving but says they were going fast. So I just closed my eyes and I was thinking, I was like, what I'm going to say. That's when she says she reached for the unlock button in the car. I reached into um, unlock the door. He was like this. And I was like, please, sir, let us out the car. Please, sir, please, can you let us out the car? I, I don't got nothing to do with this, please. She says the only thing the kidnapper said to her was get out. He pulled over. The only thing I was worried about was my little brother. And so I tried to grab my shoes. And he didn't let me, he was like, hey, get out. So I grabbed his binky and then me and him ran. Once on the sidewalk, she started running. I didn't know where I was at. Just started running with him. Because I'm not going to leave him in the car. Because I always watch him every day. And Nyla and King managed to get back to 7-Eleven. She ran barefoot through the dark streets with her baby brother in her arms. I was looking for some lights and then I saw the 7-Eleven that we was at and then I went in there and I was shaking and crying. The staff at 7-Eleven gave her a chair and something to drink. Then the officers came in. I heard they say they had my mom. I, was, I started crying. Her mom says she fell to the floor, thanking God her children were safe. Still unclear what this person's motive was. Did he know you were there? Yes. He looked back at me. He should have been minding his own business. He sure should have, and that uh, man accused in the kidnapping is behind bars facing numerous charges. Now, the mother learned today that her car was totaled by the kidnapper, so... I'm so proud of Nyla. She did an awesome job taking care of not only her, but also her baby brother. And to the mom, I want to say, stop leaving your kids in the car. This happened in Atlanta, by the way, Decatur. Stop leaving kids in the car. Even if it's a two-minute errand, it takes nothing out of you to unloosen that seatbelt and bring the baby with you. Because look, this is a worst case scenario. You run in the store, somebody run in your car and drives away with your kids. And then you're going to play it over and over in your head like, if I had only took them in the store with me, at least I can buy another car. You can't buy other kids. What if he decided he taking them kids too and you never see them again? Or he got into a wreck because he's speeding down the road and did all kinds of crazy stuff. And your kids and him became the victims of that. You would have lost both ways. You would have lost the car and your kids. Stop leaving your babies in the car. I don't care if it's a two minute thing. Take them with you because this is the worst case scenario. Let's run to the comment section. First commenter says, thank God these babies are fine, but you guys need to stop leaving these children in your cars while you go run in the store. I agree. Next commenter says, she is, smart. she is a smart young lady for thinking fast for herself and baby boy. Thank you, God. Correct. I think she is very smart because she didn't even think, she didn't only think about herself. She also thought about her little brother. I got this story from this TikTok page and handle. If you want to go give them a follow, go ahead and do so. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this story. Do you leave your kids in the car while you go run errands? 
that's dangerous. Well, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the story. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.